Snapper. Good morning. Question of the day. I don't know what number we're up to, but we're glad you're doing one. Here's the question. It was a good one. Ego and greed. Let's talk about it. Ego and greed. Can we use them to our benefit? When is too much too much? They have a bad reputation. Watch the story. Here's my opinion. Oh, we're doing a coffee. Ego. Firstly, it's different degree, it's a different thing. Let's start with ego. Get this. If you're judging people with the ego, if you see someone who judges someone because they've got a high ego, they're usually fools. Ego means true self. Ego means I. It means I, it means your true self. Go and, I didn't make that up. Go and look at the fucking, go and look at the, go and Google it. We have the ego, the super ego, and the id. Someone who lives by their ego is their true self. They're centered. They're living according to what's most important to them. Someone who lives by the super ego is obedient. The super ego is the imported values and objectives and beliefs from external authorities. The parents, the teachers, the society. When you're living by your super ego, you bring in the id. This is the part responsible for morals and ethics. This is the part that makes you feel guilty. And this is why the id comes online. When you're living by superego, the id comes online, your animal instinct to avoid predator and seek prey. You're living like an animal. You only live like an animal because you're avoiding predator, seeking prey, because you're obeying an external authority. You're not being true to yourself. You're not living by your ego. Disobey these scallywags, drop your animal instinct, and the more you come into the center, the more you become your true self. This is when you live by the ego. The more you go out, the more you're obeying authority and becoming an animal. This is the origin of the word idiot. So the higher someone's ego, the more they're living true to themselves, probably the more empowered they are. You, anyone who judges that is probably a disempowered fuck. So to answer the first part of the question, ego, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think it's a great thing. If you can you, you meet someone who's living by their ego, they're really being themselves and they're really flamboyant, it's amazing. They've got an energy about them. They've got a life force about them that you can feel from a freaking distance. They're not, they're not trying to obey mum and dad and the fucking preacher. They're not they're doing that shit. Part two, greed. Okay, dictionary definition is excessive desire for wealth and power and food. Excessive desire. Who's, who's to say where the line is? <laughs> like, do we have a universally agreed upon line in the sand where if you desire power and money this much, that's okay, but over the line, then that's, you're greedy? Come on. It's a completely subjective label. I'll tell you who's, who's projecting those labels and judging the people. Is idiots living by their superego, injecting the values of others who said that you shouldn't have too much. Though, for the sake of the lesson, I do want to talk about greed from a more objective standpoint, and it is possible. Check this out. Here's the two realms. This is greed, this is generosity. These are opposites. The greed brings on your narcissistic side, generosity brings up your altruistic side. When people are talking about greed, I think what they mean, and I'm putting words in everyone's mouth, I think what they mean is what people who want to get something for nothing. Someone who's overly generous, full generosity, fully altruistic, wants to give something for nothing. Give something for nothing, get something for nothing, that's greedy, that's generous. To think that you can go through life and get something for nothing, you're out of fair exchange. It's, it's not balanced, it will never be sustainable. Same thing for this. You cannot give something for nothing. You're out of fair exchange and it's not sustainable. You need both of these extremes if you want sustainability. You need both. Now, if you're living by your superego and you're obeying an external authority and they become the author of your lives, they might inject some bullshit ideas into you and idealisms that says generosity is better. But that's not true. That's half truth. It's not the full fucking truth. Generosity and altruism is not better than greed and narcissism. The universe is striving for balance and fair exchange and it is bloody good at getting what it wants. If you are addicted to either one of the sides, you'll attract in the opposite to break that addiction. You will have someone, could be you, in your life who is completely generous and altruistic and giving, 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 giving. They'll attract bullies. They'll attract narcissism. They'll attract greedy people who fuck them around to get them back into balance. The greedy person's not the bad guy. They're a teacher. They're the teacher. If you get someone who's really, really altruistic and giving, 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 because they're compensating for guilts and shame of the past, they'll attract the narcissism and it will break them up because they'll be like, this is enough. And they'll finally put their foot down and say, enough is enough. I'm fucking standing up for what I want. I'm getting into fair exchange. I'm going to stop giving and I'm going to start getting a little bit more. It's a, he's a teacher. 
the greedy guy is not the the greedy person is not the bad person. They're not the villain of the story. The only reason you ever have one in your life and you judge it because you're too altruistic or too giving in some particular area. And you've been giving too much of your time, effort, energy, money, food, power away and not getting enough back in return. You're out of fair exchange and you'll attract into your life through divine intervention. The best teacher in the world. They'll always be there. They'll be there. When the student's ready, the teacher shows up. Some pe sometimes people just judge the teacher and think that they're just fucking assholes, but they're there to teach you a lesson. And when you don't have an addiction fantasy that one's better than the other, and you're not coming from one angle and looking, judging the greedy people and saying, oh, they're fucking assholes, you realize you need both. You want to make a million dollars a week? You want to buy the cars and the houses and have the lifestyle and, and, and make the money? Guess what? That's not greed. You've got to be altruistic to get there as well. There are no free lunches in the universe. You don't get blood out of a stone. You have to work. You have to provide value and service and add value to people's lives and charge them in fair exchange. And the same is true in reverse. If you want to dedicate your life to altruism and be a generous giver and start foundations and help people, guess what? You're going to have to start being narcissistic and get money yourself. How the fuck are you going to be a good altruist? How are you going to give people stuff? You've got nothing to give them. You've got to be, you've got to be both. To judge one is better than the other is fucking crazy. You follow my Snapchat, you're not here to be an idiot. You're not here to be living your super ego on bay authorities and be a fucking moron and live your life like an animal. You're here to be a master. Have both. Love you, Scallywags. Going back to work now. Going back to work because I'm narcissistic as fuck and I want to make more money, but I'm going to fucking, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to serve people. I'm going to add so much value to people's lives. Do both. Own both. Love both. Turn them both up. That's how you master life. Snap a good afternoon. We're doing a little bit of work here, a bit of a beer, a bit of a work afternoon session. I'm just sitting watching the, uh, there's a big hailstorm come. Come on nature, let's get this. Let's get these Snapchat viewers some lightning. Go. Oh, got it. Got it. <laughs> nice one. It's actually quite clear and blue skies over in this sort of vicinity, over the city way. And then you go over here. Look at that guy. There's some, there's some hail and lightning coming. Snapper, you know what day it is. It's Buddy Tuesday. Look after Hogan Day. Hogan! <whistles> oh, you are the most cutest one.